All right, well, happy Golden Globes morning, everybody. Uh, it is pretty early, so I can't be I can't be yelling. I can't be aggressively loud here. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to stick around this volume. So, if it sounds like an ASMR video for a minute, that's that's why. Anyway, so yeah, it's uh, uh, just a few minutes after uh, uh, five, at least on the West Coast here, uh, where they're gonna be announcing stuff. Um, so uh, we've got. Uh, supposed to be here at uh, 5 after, they've just changed that to 10 after on the thing here, so I guess they're uh, running a little behind here, so they got about 5 minutes before they start. Um, let's see here, what can we talk about for, for 5 minutes here? I don't know, the, uh, every year when, when we get to these live announcements and stuff, I always struggle with this part because it's like, <laughs> you don't want it to be silent for like 4 minutes because it's like, eh. Okay, then I gotta shut it off, and by the time I get it started up again here, then they'll have already announced some stuff or something. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess we can kind of briefly run down uh, uh, the categories here one more time. Let's see here, I just gotta get it pulled up for me here, but, um, yeah, let's see, I read a thing, uh, let's see here, I've got, uh, let's see, I'm not gonna be able to pull it up, am I? Well, maybe not. Uh, let's see, I've got uh, a deadline just pulled up here just to kind of look over stuff. We've got Terry Crews, Danny Guerrera, Leslie Mann, and Christian Slater are uh, the four that uh, HFPA has announced uh, as the uh, readers this morning for the nomination. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you get, you know, a little diversity in there and everything, too. Um, so, yeah, maybe that's a sign, you know... Because we saw it a couple of years ago when Don Cheadle was in the race for uh, one of his films. I think it was the it was like a Miles Davis film or something, and he was announcing that morning. And I was <laughs> foolishly they'd announced it days in advance, and I still had him predicted to get in. It's like, yeah, usually that's a little tacky. So they usually if somebody who's involved in a movie is not you know is, is there the morning of, uh, typically their movie doesn't get in, uh, especially if it's an individual performance like that. So, well, you have somebody from Black Panther there. I don't know. I mean, that, that might not mean anything because, you know, usually film drama where Black Panther is going to contend is the last category announced. And that's usually how they do it here is what I've seen is that they'll, uh, the list that they give here, the order they give it in is usually the list they're going to present in too. And remember too that this is uh, broken up into two different uh, groups here. They're going to announce a lot of TV stuff first. They're going to announce a lot of, um, uh, well, I don't want to say the majority of TV stuff, but they'll they'll announce quite a bit of TV stuff in the first batch. But then they'll also get. I think they usually end on screenplay, uh, the film screenplay category, just to kind of have a big moment there before uh, before they pick it up again. Because, yeah, they'll do a thing here at, uh, it was supposed to be 5 after, but now 10 after. And then uh, they break for about 10 minutes or so, roughly. And then uh, then they'll pick it up with, uh, you know, major broadcast, uh, where they'll, I think they break in on, like, the Good Morning America, Today Show, all those. So, um, and then they have the major categories. That's when they have the film director and the film, you know, best motion picture comedy musical, best motion picture drama, uh, the rest of the acting races. Because they might, one year I remember they did get into supporting actor here early. I don't know if they were supposed to or not. Maybe they had the wrong thing. But, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, I think that was, that was two years ago or three years ago, whatever it was. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I've got all my film categories written out here, so really all we're going to do here is as soon as they uh, announce them, we're just going to, you know, if you hear me, you know, tic-tac, you know, clacking like that, just it's just me writing down the, the names and the nominations. That way I don't have to, you know, because a lot of people, you know, will, will write about this, of course, but nobody, you know, has it published immediately after the, the, the uh, Globe announcements are over. It's not like, <laughs> it's not like the second they're over you can head over to, you know, name a website. And they have it. It's like, no, it takes a couple minutes. So to get the immediacy of the reactions there, I just go ahead and write them all down while I'm uh, while I'm doing that. If I miss one, then yeah, then we'll have to have to wait and see. Because I don't know if I can rewind. This is one video. I don't know if I can rewind or not. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so I've got uh, it's eight after here, so I should have. They should be starting up here pretty quick. Um, anyway, so. 
Uh, let's see, really quick, I wanted to try to get to my predictions again to try to, you know, just to quickly name them off again to refresh everybody's memory or, uh, well, refresh my own at least, for sure. Uh, well, yeah, we all think, yeah, Star is Born, The Favorite are going to be some of the more nominated films this morning. Uh, both have them getting into six categories. Uh, let's see, Roma, I think, will be a player this morning. I have it getting into three, director included, uh, foreign language and actress. Uh, let's see, I've got, uh, what else is going on here? Mary Poppins, I think, is going to be a big player, five nominations. Uh, could be more. Oh, hold on, what's this? I hear static. Nope. Okay, never mind. That's the heater on my computer. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Crazy Rich Asians could be a big surprise this morning. That could get into multiple, multiple categories. I've got it down for three, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, First Man is one I'm I'm iffy on it. I've got it in, but I'm, <laughs> you know, kind of <laughs> buyer's remorse there kind of kind of deal where I'm like, I wish I could have maybe picked something up. But then I looked at it, looked everything over again right before, and I was like, well, I, I'm not, I don't want to put my money on that one quite. No, I don't know if that one can get in. You know, so I just kind of, just by default, kind of went with that one. It might still get in, obviously, but yeah. Uh, let's see, Black Klansman, Beale Street, Green Book. Yeah, I think they're still, I think they're all in that uh, three to four range, uh, maybe five, if, if they really, really hit. Like Green Book, I could see getting to five, maybe. It'd be tough. I mean, it would, it would really have to overperform to get a number that high, but uh, it's actually possible. Ladies but, you know, oh, here we go. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Okay, I can't have it way too loud, so. Okay, another thing, too, you, you guys remember I'm writing for Culture Vultures, too, so. Um, so I'm going to have to end this uh, in about 50 minutes for sure, uh, unless they really slack the here. But. Of our nominations will be presented now. The second half will be announced at exactly 5.34 a.m. Mm. The Golden Globe Award ceremony will yeah, take place here minutes, in the Hamilton so. Hotel. Okay. On we'll see if 15 minutes is enough time for me to talk about these. It will air live, coast to coast, on NBC. Mm -hmm. Our hosts this year were just announced to the media yesterday. Yeah, everybody's You're waiting forever. We're very excited to have the talents of Sandra O oh and Andy Samberg. Yeah, I didn't talk about that yet, did I? No. Um, Andy Samberg, I run hot and cold with him. Sometimes I think he's funny. Sometimes he's just a wet cloth. I just could care less. Sandra O. Oh, in the meantime, I don't think I've seen anything of hers. Like she's got uh, the one show that she's in, um, which I haven't seen. I, I don't watch much TV, but. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, but when I hear they were paired up at the Emmys or something, they did very well, so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop talking over her, because she's talking about stuff that's relevant. The daughter of Golden Globe winner Idris Elba and businesswoman Kim Elba. Isan will be assisting us with the ceremony. Oh, that's the Globe Ambassador, yeah. To raise the profile of the charity of her choice. Isan, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, she's basically a female bouncer for the Before for the we awards. Before we begin our nominations, we have a major programming note. As we find ourselves in a resurgence of the golden age of television, we are thrilled to announce a prestigious new award uh -oh. that will recognize the highest level of achievement in the medium. Equivalent to its film accolade counterpart, the Cecil B. DeMille Award, this new annual award will honor TV's biggest names and brightest talents. Honorees will be selected based on their outstanding accomplishments, as well as the impact and influence that their television career has had on the industry and audiences. The importance of this announcement is underscored by the fact that this is the first special achievement award of its kind since the DeMille Award was originally presented in 1952. So... The inaugural presentation will take place on our January 6th show and the first ever television honoree, along with our DeMille recipient, will be revealed in the coming days. That's it, yeah, they haven't announced uh, who's going to be the DeMille winner. Okay, so I guess we'll that's... Our first group of okay, nominees. that's fair. Yeah. First, Adds a lot of time to the show, I'm sure. But okay. Oh, he's in The Wife? Oh, I didn't know that. One second. Yeah, sit down, Christian. 
you fool. Next, one of the stars of Black He's probably on Coke. Deny Green. Kidding. Okay, I've heard deny, I've heard Danny, so okay, deny. We'll call her deny for this one. From America's Got Talent. <laughs> I trust her. The champions, Terry Crews. Terry Crews is a fun guy. Hold spice and last but not course. least, the star of the upcoming Welcome to Morrowind, Leslie Mann. Uh, Mrs. Judd Apatow. <laughs> okay, that's how you start. Okay, so I guess they're going in reverse. What do you got, Chris? Okay, man. Sorry. I don't predict the TV stuff, so. Yep, I can expect that one. Patricia Arquette. Escape at Nanamora. Okay, I've heard that Johnny one's good. Britain, Dirty John, Laura Dern, The Tale. Tale. Yeah, okay. Regina King, Seven Seconds. Yeah, Regina King's probably a double nominee this yeah. morning. Best television series, musical or comedy. Hmm. Barry, HBO. Yep. The Good Place, NBC. Okay. Kidding, Showtime. Oh, the, the Kaminsky Jim Method, Perry. Netflix, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Prime Video. Yeah, Maisel, everybody's talking Best about. That's on my list. Picture, foreign language. Here we go. Capernaum, Lebanon, Girl, Belgium, okay. Never Look Away, Germany, Roma. There you go, there's Mexico, Roma. Shoplifters, Japan. I only got two of those. Oofta. Capernaum, Girl, and Look Never Look Away. Okay. What do you got next? Best television, limited series, or motion picture. Assassination of Chani Versace, American Crime Story, FX Networks, mm, Escape at Danamora, Showtime, Sharp Objects, HBO, A Very English Scandal, Prime mm, Video. I think I had Best those. performance by an actor in a supporting role in a series, limited series, or motion picture made for television. Mm. Alan Arkin, The Kominsky Method, Kieran Culkin. Succession. Edgar Ramirez, the assassination of Chani. Uh, uh, what's Her uh, Henry Winkler going to give you? Ben Wishaw, a very English scandal. Henry Winkler. Yep, there he is. Barry. So he won the Emmy for Barry. Best screenplay. Here we go. Picture. Alfonso Cuarón. Really? Roma. Damn. Deborah Davis, Tony Mac. Here's the favorite. The favorite. Barry Jenkins. Beale Street. Beale Street. Nice. Vice. Vice. Nick Vallelonga, Brian Curry, and Peter Pirelli. Green Book. Okay. I have four of those. That's not bad for screenplay. So which one missed? Uh, got my. Best performance by an actor. Oh, Black Klansman. Uh oh, that's not good. Motion picture made for television. Antonio Banderas. Genius, Picasso, Daniel Brühl, The Alienist, Darren Criss, The Assassination of Chiani Versace, American Crime Story, Benedict Cumberbatch, Patrick Melrose, Heard that's good. Hugh Grant, A Very English Scandal. Best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a series, limited series, or motion picture made for television. Alex Bornstein, the Marvel. This is Maisel. This is Maisel. Yep. Patricia Clarkson, Sharp Objects. Patricia. Penelope Cruz, The Assassination of Gianni yeah. Versace, American Crime Story. I'm not caught up on all these. Tandy Newton, Westworld. That's the first time I heard Westworld, I think. Ivan Strahovski, The Handmaid's Tale. Hmm. The Handmaid's Tale, I haven't heard Best much. original score. Here we go. Motion picture. Marco Beltrami. A Quiet Place. Interesting. Alex, Alexandra Displa. There's Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Yep. Ludwig Gornson. Black Panther. Black Panther. Okay. Justin Hurwitz. First, First Man. First Man. Mark Shaman. Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. There we go. Okay, so I got three of those. That's not terrible. Best performance by an actress in a television series, musical, or 
comment. So I miss Beale Street and Crazy Rich Asians. The Good Place, Candace Bergen, Murphy Brown. I got her in. Allison Brie, Glow, Rachel Brosnan, The yep. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. No surprise there. Deborah Messing, Will and Grace. Hmm. Will and Grace I haven't heard much either. Best performance by an actor in a television series, musical, or comedy. Sasha Baron Cohen, Who is America? Hmm. Jim Carrey. Okay, Kate, there's Jim Carrey. Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method. Donald Glover, Atlanta. Yep. Bill Hader, Barry. There you go. Best motion picture animated. Here we go. Incredibles 2. Yep. Isle of Dogs. Yep. Mirai. Mm. Ralph Breaks the Internet. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Okay, so I got four of those. So I... Uh, they usually do not go for the anime ones. Good for them. There are still okay, so no small foot. That's okay. <laughs> this will take place at exactly 5.34 a.m. Okay, I got 15 minutes then. The show. We're going to take a short break. Okay, I'm going to mute you there. Sorry. Okay, so uh, 15 minutes here to talk about like four categories. <laughs> okay, um, obviously we can't get a ton of insight yet, but uh, we can just talk about a couple of things. Now the foreign language category is, that's always a tough one to predict. So I, I only got two of those Roman shoplifters, but uh, let's see, what were my other three that I had getting in that obviously are, are not in at this point? Um Let's see, I had Sweden getting in with Border, Cold War missed. That is surprising. That is very surprising. Uh, Poland usually gets in at this stuff, too. Um, man, I'm trying to think their last one. Um, was that one Ida, or was that or was Ida from a different country? I think it was from Poland. And that one swept pretty much everything that year. Um, and yeah, Cold War so far has done very, very well with... Um, a lot of the critics group so far. In fact, some people early on, I remember, were putting it into Best Picture, and some people were considering it for uh, some of the acting awards screenplay too. So uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a surprise. They didn't they didn't go for that one, but uh, yeah, but they got the Palm Door winner in their Shoplifters, and of course Roma, uh, and then Roma got in for screenplay. Oof, I don't know about that. That's huh. Okay, so uh, that got in instead of Black Klansman, which is which is a shame because yeah, Black Klansman's a great script. Uh, haven't of course haven't seen Roma yet, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that means Alfonso Cuarón. Yeah, obviously they don't have a cinematography category here, but you know if he gets in, he'll probably get in for director. He'll um, the country accepts it for uh, for foreign language when it wins that, so he can win he can win two Globes uh, for that. Uh, it can't be up for motion picture drama because there's, you know, some rules about that. But, uh, okay, we got 13 minutes. I feel like that's all I have to say. No, we'll keep going here. Um, yeah, animated category, uh, Mireille getting in is uh, a little bit of a surprise for me just because I didn't, you know, they, they usually don't go for the Japanese animes there at the Globes. Uh, every once in a while they do, sure. Like, I think Wind Rises was nominated that year, and, and a couple, maybe one or two others before that. But the rest of them were pretty, you know, mainstream hits with Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Isle of Dogs, Incredibles 2, so, yeah. Probably Incredibles 2 wins at this rate, but of course, you know, we've got a, a ways to go there. And, you know, we'll see how Spider-Man does at the box office, too. That might impact their voting a little bit. If I had to guess, though, it's probably Incredibles 2, yeah. Now, original score, A Quiet Place, hmm. Okay, so does that mean it's in for more stuff? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think this one would would be on their radar. Uh, and the score for Quiet Place, I remember, it's very very background. Um, yeah. Now, of course, yeah, the score for Mary Poppins getting in makes sense. First Man obviously makes sense. Black Panther, even though I didn't have it predicted here, that one does make a lot of sense though, because it's yeah, for my money, that's that's a great score. Um, uh, Ludwig Göransson, I believe, is the conductor there. Uh, com conductor, composer, whatever. He probably conducts and composes. That's what most of them do. Yeah, Isle of Dogs, Alexander Desplat. That's that's no surprise. Yeah, so Quiet Place is that that one I did not think would would get in. Um, hmm. That's but that was that was my problem though. I looked that one over. It's like okay, I don't think it's got enough power in it to take one of those drama nominations. I don't quite think. Obviously, screenplay I don't think was going to happen. Um, I don't see it getting in any of the acting categories. They'd all be in the supporting categories. I think 
I think we've got those under lock and key. I mean, I, I, I don't, I can't say confidently, of course, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, again, I, Krasinski for director? I doubt it. I mean, that would really be surprising, but no. And then, yeah, the film drama category, yeah, this probably means, yeah, I was probably wrong on Black, Pan uh, Black Panther is probably getting in then. Uh, instead of, probably instead of Can You Ever Forgive Me or instead of Bla uh, Black Klansman, unfortunately, at this rate. Um, which, yeah, you know, I liked Black Panther, you know, pretty well. It's, you know, it's in my top tens still. Uh, it's toward the bottom, though. Um, and, of course, I've still got a lot of stuff I've got to see. I've got to see Roma. I've got to see Vice when it opens. I've got to see Favorite. I've got to see Beale Street. I've got to see uh, uh, Mary Poppins. I've got to see um, what else here. I haven't seen Candy or Forgive Me yet. I haven't seen, uh, uh, I've seen Star is Born. <laughs> um, what else have I not seen here? Um, I don't know. I, I'm at that stage now where it's like, I feel like I've seen half of the stuff, but it feels like the stuff I'm missing is all the important stuff. <laughs> um, let's see. I haven't seen First Reformed yet, but I think I've seen the rest of them that I've got predicted for actor. Like, I've seen Star is Born, I've seen First Man, seen Front Runner, seen Bohemian Rhapsody, but um, yeah. See here, I haven't seen The Wife. The Wife is going back into release, though, this weekend, and it's actually playing in my area, so I was planning on seeing that one just with a streamer or when it comes out on uh, uh, Redbox or whatever, but uh, I should, should be able to see it this weekend, then, in theater. Uh, Vox Lux is another one I have to see. Um, let's see here. I've seen Old Man the Gun. Uh, let's see. I haven't seen... Uh, I've seen Beautiful Boy. I think what else? Yeah, for the like the supporting actress race, I've only seen Claire Foy. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I guess that's I guess that's about it. Anyways, uh, oh shit, we still got like nine minutes to go. Holy crap! Um, let's see. We haven't gotten into screenplay much. Yeah, Roma getting in. I pulled it from the Oscar nominations just because I looked at that category. It's like okay, well you've got First Reformed, you've got. Uh, the favorite, you've got Vice, you've got Green Book, and then there was also Eighth Grade. It was like, you know, Eighth Grade is one it's getting into all those, you know, breakthrough categories. I, I didn't think it was going to be a player here this morning, but I put it down as a possible for screenplay just in case. Uh, let's see, what else did I put down for a uh, possible nomination for screenplay? Uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? Okay, yeah, that's probably a sign that it's not getting in for picture then. Uh, first Reformed, uh, I did not, wasn't sure. I mean, I was thinking it was definitely possible, but, you know, I, I wasn't sure if it was totally on their radar. Uh, and then No Star is Born for Screenplay is, a, uh, uh, I don't know. For me, yeah, I, I just didn't, pref I just didn't really love the screenplay for, for Star is Born. I didn't. Um, a lot of cliched moments, you know, there's, you know, a couple good moments for sure. You know, dialogue-wise, especially, there's a couple good speeches now and again. Like, especially Sam Elliott's last last bit's pretty good. And, um, yeah, there's there's a couple back and forths that are good. But, yeah, and, you know, when you look at it, it's like the favorite. It seems like that and Green Book are going to fight it out for original screenplay. Beale Street and, uh, well, at the Oscars, I think Black Klansman. But, uh, you know, for the from the adapted side, though, that's, that's funny. Beale Street's the only adapted screenplay. And usually uh, that's... Well, let's see. I'm trying to think in the last few years here for screenplay at the Globes here. Most of the time they do lean on, on original screenplays. Not always, but usually you get multiple uh, original screenplays and then maybe one or two of the adapted. But this year they went four that are contending an original, one that's uh, contending an adapted. So, okay. Um, yeah, so Beale Street getting in is a good sign for that one, that it's going to be a picture, probably an acting nomination there for Regina King, of course. We'll see about director. I might be right on director. We'll have to see. <laughs> if not, um, yeah, if not, they could go Green Book director. They could go Vice director. They could go, well, obviously, I think Roma gets in. Um, and I think Yorgos gets in for the favorite for director, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Rob Marshall. I don't know. Uh, and then, yeah, Mary Poppins not getting into screenplay, I guess, is good. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to see if maybe, uh, cause you know, Emily Blunt of course is the star of both Quiet Place and Mary Poppins. Maybe she gets, you know, she's got two in for score already. Uh, maybe she gets a, a nomination. Uh, well, I mean, I think she's going to get nominated for, uh, actress in a comedy, uh, for, uh, Mary Poppins, of course. But, 
I, I, I don't know if she can score a double nom and get supporting actress for Quiet Place. That'd be weird. Who would she kick out? I mean, that's, yeah. Anyways. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see. I think Mary Poppins gets in for film comedy musical, too. We'll see if Quiet Place can get into that drama race. That would be interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see. We've still got about five minutes or so. I'm going to turn the sound back on for them, which they've got it muted, too. So, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see here. Uh, let me pull back my list here. Okay, so Roma can now conceivably get into four categories with screenplay. Uh, I think I have it in also for, and it got in for foreign, so it's got two already. Uh, I would say it also gets in for um, uh, for actress and for director, so that would be four. Uh, let's see here. Mary Poppins so far is on track with the, the song, or excuse me, the song, the score nomination. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians might I don't know, maybe it gets film and actress, or maybe it misses out on film, too. I don't know. Uh, that one maybe just didn't, you know, because I've been assuming it it would go over well. You know, it is the Hollywood foreign press, you know, and as a film which features a lot of, you know, foreign locations and everything. And, uh, of course, obviously the cast being, you know, almost 100%, uh, either Asian American or just, you know, originally uh, Chinese. Um, uh, I would think they would they would go for it, but anyways. Uh, so far, First Man's on track with uh, its its solo nomination. Beale Street, I thought, would get in for uh, score. So that one, we're looking at three nominees for that one. Uh, let's see, Isle of Dogs has got its two. Uh, Black Clansman's already down one. Green Book's on track. The Favorite's on track. Vice is on track so far. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm kind of just waiting now. They've got about four minutes before they go back on. Uh, let's see, they've got, there's always that guy there uh, who says, you know, five minutes remaining. I don't know, I can't do a good voice impression of him, but I don't know. It's been four minutes uh, before they start now, so. Yeah, everybody's off stage here. Okay, all right. <sighs> so, I'm trying to think what else to say here. I mean, well, let's see. Let's take a look, because Black Panther's in for score. That doesn't mean it gets, you know, everything after that maybe score it's every once in a while they'll have something that gets in for score and then nothing else um let's see i'm trying to like the uh did we have one last year i'm trying to think uh i was gonna say danish girl but yeah that got in for a couple more categories um I'm trying to rack my brain here uh oh what was the john williams one that i saw uh he did the score for it uh the uh book thief that got score and nothing else and that was pretty much across the board that year uh i don't know i didn't mind that movie it wasn't terrible but it wasn't wasn't anything fantastic um yeah so okay so black panther conceivably okay you've got song or score god i keep saying that but um yeah, it's got score it, yeah it didn't get in for screenplay i don't think anybody was betting on it for screenplay um, director picture, I think, is really about it for it. Um, I don't see it getting, well, maybe, 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 maybe supporting actor for Michael B. Jordan, maybe. Um, you know, yeah, he's a talented guy. He's never, never gotten a major nomination. Well, the exception of maybe he got in, um, well, he, he's done a couple TV things, like the Fahrenheit, uh, 451 or whatever it was he did over the summer, which I don't think they announced this morning, so, um, Yeah. So yeah, he's, oh, here we go. Okay, we're two minutes away right now. Okay, if you're accurate, dude, I'm counting on you. <laughs> Father time over there. Um, anyways, so we've we got, uh, <laughs> what? Should everyone awake? Yeah, yeah, I'm awake, yeah. Matter of fact, I forgot to set an alarm this morning, too. Whew. Lucky thing, I, I woke up and I was like, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, because this happened to me uh, a few years ago for the Oscar nominations. It was the year 2014 when like uh, I was Birdman in the Boyhood year, and I woke up that morning and I was I kind of looked at my clock and I, mean, I was like, oh, I did not set an alarm. So then I went down and I was like, shit, and I, I looked and I was like, yep, all the nominations were up, and I was like, I I slowly realized with everybody else, I was like, wait, no Lego Movie. Okay, what Foxcatcher in for director but not picture? What? You know, and Bradley Cooper, American Sniper? What? Yeah, I was I was very delirious that morning. 
Uh, anyways, so yeah, luckily I got up this morning. It was still like an hour before they started this. So I was like, oh, good, so I can sleep a little longer. <laughs> okay, they're, they should be starting here just a second. Okay, so they've got almost all of the film categories left. They've got uh, all the acting races. They've got director and film and song, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. See, so 14 film categories. They've only announced four, so we got 10 left. Okay, this is the marathon part of it. Should be on in about 15 seconds. I think they're counting her down. Okay, we made it, guys. I thought we were going to get bored there, but evidently not. Always stuff to talk about. Welcome to the nomination announcements for the 76th Annual Golden Globe Awards. You missed some, but... With us this morning thank you are for Christian joining us. Slater, Danai Gurira, Terry Crews, and Leslie Mann. Mm -hmm. Christian, please get us started. Okay, what do you got? Mr. Slater. Probably another TV one. Alright. Uh, best performance by an actress in a television series yep. <laughs> from Katrina Balf, Outlander, hmm. Elizabeth Moss, The Handmaid's There's Tale. There's Handmaid's Tale. I haven't heard it much. Sandra O, oh, Killing Eve. There, the Killing Eve, Eve, that's the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, oh, I Julia it. Roberts, Sorry. Homecoming. Homecoming, there you Carrie go. Russell, The Americans. Okay, it's the last season for Americans. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Oh, that's Christian right. Bale. Yep. Vice. Lynn Manuel Miranda. Mary Poppins Returns. Yep. Viggo Mortensen. Viggo. Green Book. Robert Redford. The Old Man and the Gun. John C. Riley. Stan and Ollie. Oh, god damn it! Oh, I missed him. Best director, motion picture. Oh, big one. Bradley Cooper. Yep. The Star is Born. Alfonso Coran, Roma. Peter Farrelly, Green Book. Green Book. Spike Lee, Black Clansman. Thank you, Spike Lee. Adam McKay, Vice. Wow, McKay got in. And Farrelly. Wow. So who missed? Oh, obviously I missed Barry Jenkins there. And I missed uh, Yorgos, too. Son of a bitch. This performance by an actor in a television series. Drama. Wow, no Yorgos. Jason Bateman, Ozark. That's it. John C. I pulled him out for Sisters Richard Brothers. Madden, Damn it! I would have had Joe five Porter, for five here, Pose. but I didn't. I, I had it for Sisters Brothers, not Stan and Ollie. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role here we in go. a motion picture. Mahershala Ali. Yep. Green Book. Timothy Chalamet. Beautiful Boy. Yep. Adam Driver. Black Cat. Yes. Richard E. Grant. Yep. Can you ever forgive me? And. Sam Rockwell. Damn it! Oh, I had him in. performance by an actress in a motion picture. Drama. Drama. Okay. Glenn Close, the wife. Yep. Lady Gaga, a star is born. Nicole Kidman, destroyer. Really? Melissa McCarthy, can you ever forget? No, Alicia? Roseman no. Pike, a private woman. I told you it was possible. I told you. I'm glad she's Best in, though. Performance by Terrific an performance. In a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Okay. Emily Blunt. Yep. Mary Poppins returns. Olivia Coleman, the favorite. Yep. Elsie Fisher. I knew. Mm. Charlize Theron. Tully. I knew that one. Constance Wu. Crazy Rich. Okay, so I got four out of five on that one. Not bad. Miss Nicole Kidman though. Mm. So no, uh, who missed there? Best television series. Who did I miss for drama actress? The Americans. FX Networks. Bodyguard. Netflix. Uh, no Natalie Portman. Homecoming. Prime Video. <sighs> Killing Eve. Man, BBC they do that. America. Oh, that is rare. Pose. For them to do. FX Networks. Okay, so supporting <laughs> actress. Best performance by an actress in a supporting role there we go. in any motion picture. Amy Adams. Vice. Vice. Yep. Claire Ford. First man. Might get five out of five here. Regina King. Yes. Now give me the favorite. Bill Street could talk. Give me the favorite. Emma Stone. Yep. The favorite. And Rachel Weiss. Rachel Weiss. Five out of five. Favorite. Finally I got one. Finally. Okay. Who's left? Best original song. Motion oh. picture. Okay, let's clear back up here. All the stars. That's Black, Black Panther. Panther. Music and lyrics by Kendrick Lamar, Anthony Tippett. Mark Spears, Solana Rowe, Al Shuckberg. Girl in the Movies, Dumplin', 
Music and lyrics Dumb by one. Dolly okay. Parton. I seen, that's just going on Netflix. Requiem for a Private War. I got that one. Private War. Music and lyrics by Annie Lennox. There's Annie Lennox, yep. Revelation. Boy Erased. Oh, Boy Erased, okay. Music by that's Troy terrible Saban. Yonzi. Lyrics by John Thor Bergenson. Okay. So Troy Saban. Shallow. Brett McLaughlin. I'm going to guess Shallow. Shallow. Yep. <laughs> that would have been shocking if it didn't Lady be. Gaga, Mark Bronson, Anthony Rosamondo, okay, what's left here? Andrew White. Uh, drama actor and the two film categories. So I've got this right here. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yep. A Star is Born. Willem Dafoe and at Eternity's Gate. Hmm. Lucas Hedges, Boy Erased. Wow, I'm bombing here. Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yep. John David Washington, Black Clans. Good for him to get in. Good for you, John. Best motion picture, musical, or comedy. Crazy Rich Asians. Yep. The Favorite. Yep. The Green Book. Yep. Mary Poppins Returns. And, and Vice. Vice. Good. Five out of five. Okay, drama. Best motion picture drama. Black Panther. Mm. Black Klansman. Bohemian Rhapsody. If Beale Street Could Talk. And A Star is Born. Mm. Okay. That's it then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got... Uh, we'll see if I can get everything done in 20 minutes here. Okay. Uh, let's just... I've got my predictions pulled up here, so let's just go down here. So, No First Man or Can You Ever Forgive Me in Drama Picture instead. Black Panther comes on strong. And uh, Bohemian in this morning. Okay. Um, Bohemian just got the two, if I'm remembering right here. And Black Klansman. Uh, you know, it didn't get screenplay, which is too bad, but it got actor, it got film, it got director, it got supporting actor. So it still got the four nominations. Good for them. I love that movie. Good to see it get in. Um, let's see here. Uh... I got five out of five on the comedy film, though. I got Crazy Rich Asians, which only got the two. Uh, no um, Michelle Yao for supporting actress. Uh, the favorite, a little bit of a disappointment here this morning, actually, with no director, but it got everything else. It got uh, it got the the two supporting actresses. It got screenplay. It got um, lead actress, and it got film. So that's uh, that's five. That's not that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, let's see here. Uh, Trying to think here. Uh, so first performed got nothing this morning. No Ethan Hawke. That is very surprising. He has been turning it on lately. Uh, Lucas Hedges in for Boy Erased. Uh, Boy Erased got two nominations here. That's a little surprising for me. So yeah, who'd I miss for uh, for the drama actors there? No uh, Ryan Gosling. No Hugh Jackman. Oof. Ryan Gosling not getting in there. That's no good. That's no bueno. Um, yeah, that that's that category I totally fucked up. Uh, Willem Dafoe is in for Ad Eternity's Gate. That's the first time I've heard that film mentioned in over a month. I'm not kidding. That movie went totally under the radar, but now I guess yeah, Dafoe gets back in. That's that's a surprise. Okay, so I, I don't know at this rate. I'm thinking Ryan Gosling might be done for actor at this rate because I mean the one place I thought he would for sure get in is uh, spelled Lady Gaga wrong is the Globes because they they like him a lot. But yeah, First Man just got supporting actress and, and score. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have it in for director or film or any. Or yeah, I had it in for film, but I didn't have it in for director. Uh, and Peter Farrelly getting in for director. That's a strong sign for Green Book. So yeah, director, the two acting prizes for Green Book and picture and uh, and screenplay. That was five, if I am counting correctly. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Vice got in for Sam Rockwell. So. Uh, uh, who did I miss for supporting actor there? Um, shoot, let me see. I need to keep going here. Um, uh, no Sam Elliott. Yeah, that's interesting. Right when I put him in, he <laughs> doesn't get in. Yeah. See, now I told. See, hmm. I had these five in earlier, so I would have gotten five out of five, but oh well. So yeah, Sam Rockwell, that's a good sign for him, though, to get back in. Uh, I, I was not sure he was going to make it then after uh, the review, or not the reviews, but, you know, the first reactions and everything came out. Uh, let's see, comedy actress, yeah, Elsie, that's that's one I should have gotten, but uh, anyways. So yeah, neither Catherine Hahn or, 
uh, uh, Regina Hall got in for their uh, kind of smaller, very independent films. But yeah, I should have known that. And then John C. Riley get, getting in for Stan and Ollie, uh, you know, last minute replacement there instead of sisters, brothers. But so before I technically had five out of five, just with the wrong film. But oh well. Uh, drama actress was a, a little bit of a surprise there too. Uh, the two drama uh, acting and actors, uh, actor actress races were weird. So Glenn Close I got, Lady Gaga I got, and Melissa McCarthy I got, but no. Uh, uh, let's see, I've got uh, yeah two that I missed there. So no, um, where's it at here? I keep scrolling down. No Natalie Port. Now that's the weirdest thing because Natalie Portman last time, like I said, they did that with Vigo for. Uh, um, uh, 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 the movie he did, Captain Fantastic, uh, they made a major announcement about it, and it was like, you know, we were all like, well, it's not going to happen, and then it happened, so I was like, I thought Natalie Portman would give a gimme, but no. And then no uh, Yelitsa for Roma, so Roma only got three then, with uh, director and and with um, uh, screenplay and, and uh, uh, foreign language. So Roseman Pike getting in, that one, I'll tell you what, I, I mentioned it yesterday because, you know, um, it's a terrific performance. It really is. Um, and I, I'm glad she's in. I mean, if she can, obviously she's going to have to fight for a spot. I mean, I, I don't know about Nicole Kidman, but uh, uh, over on the comedy side, you've got Emily Blunt is definitely in contention for actors. Olivia Coleman, I think, gets in. Uh, then you got, uh, for, yeah, My Fiber, her, Glenn Close, Lady Gaga, Melissa McCarthy, and uh, Yalitza right now. But I might, I don't know, if Yelitsa can't get in with, with this one, with the Hollywood foreign press, I don't know, who do I who do I put in then? Do I put Emily in, or do I put uh, maybe Roseman Pike now? If she, can get, if she can get a big turnaround here and get in at Critics' Choice, especially if she can get in at SAG, then yeah, I would say counter in, but which is good. I, I loved her. Her performance made that movie, so I'm glad to see her recognized. I heard a little bit of the song during the closing credits. The song sounded pretty good, so yeah. Box Luke's got nothing this morning. Didn't even get in for song. Oof. Yeah, I was totally off on that one then. Yeah, Star is Born even kind of technically disappointed too. Got in for the one song. Yep. Got in. Didn't miss. Uh, didn't hit screenplay, but that was yeah, not predicted. Didn't get uh, Sam Elliott in there. Uh, got the two drama races for actor and actress. It got director and it got film. So that's still five. That's that's still pretty good. Uh, Mary Poppins. Yeah. Didn't. Yeah. No director. That was. Yeah. Okay. So Vice actually turned into, that got director, film, actor, supporting actress, supporting, that, Vice is the most nominated film then, isn't it? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Wow, that, that is surprising to me. Wow, so screenplay, supporting actress, supporting actor, actor, director, motion picture, comedy. Wow, okay. So that's, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Vice. I think the trailers look fantastic for it. So I haven't seen, I think there was a new trailer that just came out. I didn't see it yet, but uh, looks it, the first trailer I thought was very good. So, uh, yeah, like I said, Adam McKay had that, that, um, uh, that IOU because he wasn't nominated the year of the big short. So that um, makes sense. That makes sense. I had, so I had three of these. I didn't have, um, I didn't have, uh, uh, who did I have in? Shit, I had Barry Jenkins getting in. So Beale Street only got um, supporting actress, film, and uh, was that it? Uh, screenplay, screenplay. Okay, so that got three. Um, I had, I think I had it in for four or five. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. No Yorgos is is surprising. I, I would think Yorgos would be one they like, but I don't know. At this rate, maybe Peter Fairley gets that fifth nomination. Um, Let's see, because yeah, at the, at the Oscars I have Karan, I have Cooper, I have Spike Lee. Um, let's see here, those three. Um, I have Yorgos in there right now, and who's my fifth one? Um, it's not Peter Farrelly, it's not, uh, well, it's Barry Jenkins, yeah. I don't know. Uh, at this rate, J Jenkins, I don't know, that movie, it's popular with the critics and stuff. So far at the box office, well, it hasn't opened yet, actually. It was supposed to open this last weekend. They pushed it back um, to next weekend, the 14th. Um, I think it'll do well at the box office. Um, I don't know. I was thinking it would be a bigger player than this at this rate, but that's okay. Okay, let me go back. How many did Black Panther get? It got uh, the drama, 
race, it got uh, song, it got uh, score. Is that it? Those three? St the three is definitely, yeah, still a good show for Black Panther for sure. But uh, yeah, that film nomination was a little surprising for me. Um, I just I just thought with, you know, um, again, my uh, predicted nominees here, Can You Ever Forgive Me and uh, First Man. Yeah, well, yeah, the First Man one I can understand, yeah. <laughs> so I was expecting four out of five with that one, but yeah. So yeah, Can You Ever Forgive Me, I, I only got the two acting uh, nominations, yeah. And then Willem Dafoe is the sole nominee for At Eternity's Gate. That that makes sense. Um, let's see here. Yeah, good to see Spike Lee get in, though. Yeah, so that shows Black Klansman is still in this thing, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I guess that's that's really the big story here, is, is Vice getting six nominations. Uh, Mary Poppins, that's in for score. It didn't get a song nomination, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. It's in for the two acting prizes. It's in for picture, so that's four, which is still a good show. But I, I was thinking five on that one. Um, yeah, we mentioned the favorite has five. Roma has three. Um, let's see, yeah, Beale Street has three. Uh, Green Book has five, if I'm counting correctly here. It's in for screenplay, director, the two acting, and picture. So yeah, that's five. Uh, Timothee Chalamet is the only nomination for Beautiful Boy. I think we all saw that coming. Um, Elsie Fisher, the sole representation for eighth grade. Charlie's Thrones, the sole one for uh, Tully, of course. Um, yeah, so with uh, yeah, John C. Riley, of course, the sole one for his film uh, Stan and Ollie. Red Redford's in for Old Man and the Gun. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Glenn Close, the only one for the wife. That makes sense. Uh, Roseman Pike in for uh, that's in for song and for actress. So that's that's good. Uh, Nicole Kidman, the only one in for Destroyer, of course. Um, yeah, no Ethan Hawke. That's that's one I'm still going back to. I think he, I think he'll get in everywhere else though. I originally, and that's the weird thing. I originally did not have him in for actor here because I was thinking I was like, I don't know if that one's going to go over well with uh, HFPA, and it didn't. Instead, yeah, John David Washington, I knew had a shot, but I I didn't put him in. Um, yeah, I would have. I look re really would have looked good if I put him in. Um, Anyways, yeah, so uh, what else do I have to talk about here? Dumplin' is an original song category. Yeah, some some of the original song, sometimes they show up here and then that's it. So, <laughs> um, like all the Hunger Games songs would get in here and then they wouldn't get in at the Oscars. I think uh, Boyhood had a song that got in here and that didn't get in at the Oscars. Or or maybe it didn't even get in here. I, I remember there was a song that it had, but anyways. Um, well, yeah, we'll see if Revelation Boy Race can keep going. Uh, I think Shallow, yeah, that's an obvious one. So All the Stars, Black Panther, that's one I had not considered up to this point for song, but that, that one makes sense. That one makes sense, yeah. So yeah, I think I'll change that one, but uh, yeah. And then, yeah, we'll see about Requiem for a Private War, if that can continue as well. I think uh, that one that one can get in for song and then maybe misses for actress. You know, sometimes like stuff like this, they like to pair it up. That's why I was thinking Smallfoot would get in for song and animated, but it didn't get either one. Um... Yeah, so Quiet Place only got the one score. I was kind of worried about that one at the last minute, if that one was going to all of a sudden be a four or five nominee film. That'd be weird. Okay, yeah, so I guess the big story here this morning, Adam McKay, in for director, Vice, six nominations, leads the pack. So yeah, that's that's a sign. It's going to get something, I think. I don't think I don't think Amy Adams, I don't quite think Sam Rockwell, but I think that that, that might tip the scales in Christian Bale's favor for that comedy actor prize. Um, I don't think director, I think director is going to come down to, we'll see, we'll see if Spike Lee can, can do it. I, I don't know at this rate, but, uh, it, it's not in for screenplay. Whereas Peter Fairley, his, his is in for screenplay and film. Alfonso's is in for screenplay and technically film with foreign language. Bradley Cooper's film is not in for screenplay. So I don't see Adam McKay winning director, but I think it comes down to Spike Lee and Alfonso there. Um, and comedy film, I think the favorite is going to fight for that one. Green Book is going to fight for that one. Uh, maybe Vice. But then again, I think about it. It's like Mary Poppins has all those nominations, too. It's probably not going to win for comedy actor. Comedy actress, they could give it to Emily Blunt, but Olivia Colman, I think, is the favorite right now. <laughs> yeah, I made that pun. Live with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> uh, but uh, they, I could see Mary Poppins being a surprise winner for comedy film. I could. If they want to, you know, make sure, okay, well, we're going to give Green Book supporting actor, we're going to give the favorite comedy actors, we're going to give Vice comedy actor, 
let's give comedy film to Mary Poppins. Everybody get, goes home happy. I think that they might do that. Um, yeah, but uh, still, yeah, good to see Crazy Rich Asians get in. I like that one. Uh, Green Book, I loved. So, yeah, I'm glad that one's in. I haven't seen the other three. Um, so I think I've seen, except for Beale Street, I've seen the five, uh, the other four of the five drama films, though. Yeah, Black Panther getting in. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a good film, yeah. Uh, Black Klansman's a good one. Bohemian, that's, I think that's just a popularity one. Really, it is. I mean, yeah, anyways, so. I know, I know, it's a popular movie. Blah, blah, blah. Same with Star is Born. I, I wouldn't have put that one in, but that's, that's me, that's me. Okay, uh, what else do we have to say here? Um, yeah, we'll see. I think Sam Elliott probably is still the preference to get in for a lot of these, uh, like SAG and stuff, instead of Sam Rockwell. But we'll we'll see how Vice goes over there. I don't know. Weird. It's weird sometimes. Like uh, Nocturnal Animals was one that did very well at the Globes that year, I remember, and then SAG ignored it. Same with like last year with All the Money in the World, where it's the whole Money in the World came back, you know, the huge performance at the Globes, and then got nothing at SAG. And uh, and Critics' Choice, I, I, if I remember correctly, also did not uh, give it a ton of stuff. Maybe that supporting actor for uh, uh, Christopher Plummer, but I, even then I can't remember. Um, let's see here. Anything else I want to talk about? Um, I got five out of five on the supporting actress race. Um, five out of five on the comedy musical race, so I, I'm looking good there, but... Uh, <laughs> Drama actor I totally screwed up on. Drama actress was a bit out to lunch. The director race was a little strange for me. Drama film was was uh, some missed ones there. Um, only missed one on supporting actor and only missed one on the comedy actress, so that's pretty good. Screenplay I only missed out on one, so that's pretty good. Animated I missed out on one. Score, score was a little bit of a surprise to see both Quiet Place and Black Panther in there. Song I was not even close on. <laughs> I only got two of those, uh, and same with foreign language. So yeah, okay. So I did okay on these, but not not phenomenal. But I've done worse at the Globes, <laughs> like the year of Nocturnal Animals last year with uh, all the money in the world getting all those noms. Um, yeah, so I've done worse, but yeah, we'll see going forward. Okay, so is there anything I want to immediately change? Because we've got Critics Choice coming up Monday. I've got uh, and then SAG on Wednesday of next week. Uh, so we've got some time here. Um, I don't know. I think the six directors getting in at uh, Critics' Choice includes Peter Fairley, and also includes uh, Barry Jenkins, and also includes Yorgos. So those three, and then I think uh, Alfonso Clarion. Wow, I totally misspelled that one. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Bradley Cooper and, and Spike Lee. So I've got those six. Uh, Adam McKay could totally break in though. So that's one I will definitely consider more like uh, more highly now. Is, is Adam McKay? Uh, for director, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I think uh, otherwise, uh, I've got Black Panther in for a lot of stuff at Critics' Choice, so I think that will not be surprising. Uh, let's see, that actor race, we'll have to see. I think Bale is definitely in, Vigo's definitely in, Bradley's in, uh, Rami Malek now, maybe, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I think, yeah, so I've got, yeah, Ethan Hawke in at Critics' Choice, and then Bradley, and then um, uh, I've got Ryan Gosling in too. I don't know. I've got I've got Rami Malek, Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Ethan Hawke, and uh, oh no no no! Because I have to have I have to have Christian Bale and Vigo in there. Shit! So who do I not have in? I I pulled out. Uh, I think I pulled out Rami Malek. I don't know. I might have to put him back in. Um. But Ethan, but Ethan Hawke though. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see. That'd be weird. Uh, Ethan Hawke is one. It's a possibility he's one where he, yeah, he gets all these critics' prizes and stuff, but then at the industry awards, he just goes cold. That's a possibility. That's something I wasn't really considering. I was kind of all in on him getting in, but now now I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but it is good to see, yeah, John David Washington recognized. Lucas Hedges is pretty good in Boy Erase, so yeah, that's that's a good one. I haven't seen the Will and Defoe one yet uh, at Eternity's Gate, so can't tell you on that one. Uh, Nicole Kidman, a little bit of a shocker for her to get in for Destroyer. I did not really think that she was going to uh, be a big player here, but um, okay. Yeah, so she gets in instead of Yelitsa and Natalie Portman. Mm. Yeah, I thought I had that one nailed with the Natalie Portman one, but oh well. Okay, um, yeah, I'm getting close to the time. i got to start writing for uh, Cultured Vultures here, get that article up for... Uh, yeah, so I guess, yeah, that's the big takeaway this morning is six nominations for Vice. Uh, 
a little bit of a disappointment for films. Like, definitely First Man was a big disappointment here this morning. Um, uh, anything else that, like, disappointed, disappointed? I mean, like, not really. The Favorite just missed out on one, which, yeah, technically is underperforming, but just by one. Uh, Mary Poppins only missed out on one. Black Klansman only missed out on one, but it made up for it with a surprise nomination. Black Panther came back here. Uh, Beale Street, a little bit of a disappointment for me. Did not get that director nom, but still... Uh, not director or score, actually. So yeah, um, yeah. I guess I guess that's really about it for for me for this one here. Uh, yeah, we'll do a final critics' choice nominations prediction uh, fairly soon. Uh, probably I think the nominations come out Monday, so definitely by Sunday I'll have a video up. So yeah. All right. Well, those crazy globes are over, but still uh, some unpacking to do here as we uh, as we move on. So. Uh, Yep, thanks for uh, watching, guys, and we'll, uh, we'll continue as, uh, as the industry awards keep going.